this is Yanni, you guys are inside the belly, and today I'm going to do something really special with yellowtail, because my good buddy Dave just got back from a long range fishing trip out to the Hurricane Bank, and although they didn't catch monster tuna like they were looking for, on their way back home they stopped off at the Alejos Rocks, and they just scored on yellowtail. He caught nine of them, and he said his smallest one was 27 pounds, his biggest one was 44 pounds. Now, it's a little bit bigger than my personal best, but don't get me wrong, I am not jealous in the least. As a matter of fact, I'm so happy for him, especially since he gave me a chunk of fish, that I'm dedicating my next recipe to Dave, and it's called the Alejos Yellowtail Poke Bowl. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, I got my sushi rice already done, and uh, my next step is to start chopping up the fish, making the dressing. We're gonna add some avocado and some mango. We'll be in heaven. So hold on, here we go. So I'm gonna cut these up into about a quarter inch dice. I'm telling you, I'm not jealous at all about Dave catching this 44 pound yellowtail. I am extremely jealous. I'm extremely jealous. See, let me just give you a little bit of history. Dave and I have been competing in bass tournaments for years. And I always kick his butt. He takes third place, I take first place. He takes fifth place, I take second place. On and on and on. And all of a sudden he starts going on these long range trips and he starts catching these monster tunas. Okay, tunas, you know, I, it's hard to catch a 200 pound tuna unless you. But yellowtail, I've got access to yellowtail. And he nails his 44 pound yellowtail. My personal best is 35 pounds. Huh. So now I've got to figure out a way of catching a yellowtail that's bigger than 44 pounds. Holy crap. There's no way that this implies that he's a better fisherman than me. I mean, come on. This yellowtail goes into our dipping sauce. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh. Come here, come here, take a look at this. Look at that. Oh my god. Wow. Off into the refrigerator, we gotta cut up the avocado and the mango. I'm going to try and cut these mango pieces the exact same size as the yellowtail pieces that I cut. Oh, look how beautiful that is. Wow. And now for the avocado. Now I'm just going to get just a little under the lip here. Oops. Start peeling the skin back. There we go. Look at that. Okay, we're going to turn this half of an avocado into a rose petal shape. And we're going to do that by cutting very thin slices. Whoa! With a really sharp knife. My Cuda knives that the fine people at Cuda generously gave me. I love these knives, by the way. It's always best to work with a sharp knife. Okay, so now, we're gonna take, and we're gonna work these, and work it into a straight line. Just like that. Wow, you guys pull this one off and everyone will think you're a fancy gourmet chef. And now you start to curl. Look how beautiful that looks. Yeah. 
Whoa, there we go. That's gonna go on top of our uh, poke bowl right there. All right, first the rice. Love sushi rice. And now the yellowtail. So it looks like, I've got a half a pound of yellowtail here, so it looks like a quarter of a pound is going to make one serving. Now we're going to take the avocado, the rose, put it dead center, just like that. We'll take the mango, just like that. Remember, this is a half a mango. Oh my god, wow. We're not done yet. We're not done. Hold on. With all this sweetness, a little bit of red pepper flake, perfect. Oh! Then finish it off with a little bit of rock salt. So here you have it, boys, the Alejos Yellowtail Poke Bowl, dedicated to my buddy who lied and cheated and photoshopped that picture, that 44-pound yellowtail. Anyway, here's to Dave, here's to you guys. Give this a try. I guarantee it will blow you away.